Patrick Cavani, CEO of Greencore, you told us in a previous video you believe that the strong advantage lies with the UK remaining in the EU. Now, Environment Secretary Liz Truss famously said there was no plan B at DEFRA in case Britain opted to quit the EU. Does Greencore have a plan B? Well, I think we have an assessment, an emerging assessment as to what the consequences would be over time. Um, and, but one of the one of the challenges, of course, is that it's very difficult to plan for what the consequences of exit would be because people don't know. People, there, there has been no articulation of what would Britain's relationship be with its former partners in the EU, either collectively or individually. Um, and you know, what would it mean for a relationship with other trading blocs? Uh, what does it mean for regulation? Um, because one of the issues that gets thrown out all the time, of course, is that if we weren't in the EU, we could relax regulation, get rid of some of this red tape, but it has to be replaced with something. So, so I, I, I think, paradoxically, um, this idea that you need to have an immediate plan for what to do post a decision uh, were it to happen, a Britain to leave, um, uh, to leave you. I don't think actually that is necessary. I think there is a need for us, for people, to understand the um, the medium-term consequences insofar as they can, so they can form a view as to their attitude to the issue. Um, but I think there will actually be time, either way, um, for contingency plans and the like to be put in place post the decision.